fam. I'm Wonder V. Welcome. Many of you know me for my videos about Power Rangers Dino Charge Inner Jam. you beg me to give one. Or to show you an easier way to make yours. So I decided to make the Power Rangers Dino Charge Energams 2.0. And this time I give 10 Energams so there will be 10 winners of one Energem each of the color of your choice. And for those who really, really want one and are ready to pay for it, you can now buy yours by contacting me personally by email. You can find my email address in the description uh, You can find my email address in the description below. It's not wonderful? The first thing is the material. In my opinion, the best thing you can you can the best thing that you can use to make your energy inner jam to make your inner jams to make your inner jams is the resin. Epoxy resin, crystal clear. Self leveling 40 minutes war time, non flammable, non VOC, Zolo water. Part A, part B. Little sticks. Very important. Yeah, instructions. Hello! Okay. I have another option for you. Maybe more easy or more accessible. Accessible. More easy to to find and to 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 to. to. Yeah. More easy to use Utilisé and uh, et, uh, cheapest. Plus abordable. More affordable. More affordable. Thank you. The hot glue. Important to have a um, little clear glue sticks. Ensuite, then the next step is le moulage. We have several options. The silicone mold. This rectangular silicone mold. Mold en silicone rectangulaire. Rectangular silicone mold. Rectangular silicone mold. The rectangles seems a bit big, but see. And I searched in the recycle the recycle. Bac de recyclage. I searched in the recycling bin. Recycling bin. Recycling bin. And I found some uh, materials that you can use, like plastic container. This one was for strawberries. Cardboard. It's wonton covers. Let's begin with the resin. Ayu. 
For now, it's a real disaster. It seems that it's leaking from everywhere. Looks like you've got a leak. The resin stayed in the cup for far too long and it melted. It started to heat and make the cup melt. You have to be very careful with this project. For now, we will put everything aside and try to make something with the hot glue. Six centimeters par two. We make a little box. On cut. I will double with a cardboard the mine like that. You. Voila. Once it's done, we will pass again all around to seal perfectly the box. I'm back! I made a beautiful little box. Let's try to redo a casting with the resin. And this time I will take my fresh new resin. Because I think my other resin was a little bit old. And was passed away. So! Milliliters. Stop! Wah! My mold is ready. I'm trying. 
trying to remove all the bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. J'ai mis fait un bon petit bois. Elle n'est pas faite, il n'y a pas de fait du tout. We put all this aside and we come back with our yesterday's resin and hot glue. Note that the silicone wow. provides a really Look easy mold release. It's wonderful. We can reuse the mold and make several casts at once. Voilà. So, this is my resin and now the hot glue. Cutter, be really careful. You can also use a watery tool. I also have other options for you, such as the steak knife. The serrated knife. Like that. Ah, ah. Oui. Oui. Let's try to transform this into this. When you are satisfied with the shape, a petite flamme. Now let's try to cut the resin. Now let's try to cut the resin. To cut the resin, we'll explore some options. The rotary tool. Don't forget to put your. My hairs! This one is my favorite. If you don't have a rotary tool, maybe you have Edwin. Oh, Edwin. Edwin. Si a découpé. Cutting saw. Cutting saw. This one is broken. But I have another one. It's a little bit bigger. 
<laughs> gloves, gloves, and glasses. <laughs> it's not easy. Ooh. Okay. A Raspberry tool. Okay. Next cutting option. Classic Seraton knife. Oh, maybe the cutter, but I'm really oh no. I have something. It's a tool for sanding the metal, I think. Do you have some... You have some that are flat. Maybe you can try with a drill and some sanding tools. <laughs> Strangely, it works. option I have for you today is a sanding tool. It works. You can also work with sanding paper sheets. But it's really longer. Now let's sculpt this in their jam.
we can also polish for a very shiny and clear finish with po polishing compound. To complete the étape des moulages, to complete the to complete the molding step. Je vais faire un dernier moulage de résine en mettant la couleur avant. I take a ball a ballpoint pen. I will make another mold, 6 cm by 2 cm, and immediately make the angles. So we don't have to cut them, we will save a lot of time and work. 2, two cm by 2 cm. Beautiful. Cut, 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 cut. La suite, on passe en rapproché. This time, let's try to add some duct tape in the mold. It's so pink. The color seems so weird. Oh, there's not enough. Now, these inner gems need some color. If you put the color in the resin before, it is settled. And if not, what can we do? I have a PBO vitri paint, transparent. Permanent markers like Sharpie. So let's try this right now. with fingers, but it's an idea. Let's do a test on the hot glue. Vitry and Sharpie have half on the hot glue energy.
everything dry and we come back to make the ends. Hey, I'm back. We are ready to make the ends and unmold the one we made yesterday in resin. I think the cast is great, but I am really not sure of the color. Remember that the mold was made with cardboard and duct tape, glued and sealed with hot glue. Oh mon dieu, c'est laid! Non, sérieux? Now, let's make the ends. Let's dry this. Black vitrine paint with a little bit of white to make a gray. It's it it would be better to use opaque opaque color. Oh, it's not white. It's pearl. Hmm. We'll try to make the end, the, the grey end with hot glue. Here we go.
Alors, version euh, cold shoulder. We craft the mold, rectangular shape with angles from cardboard sealed with hot glue. Fill the mold with hot glue using a hot glue gun. Unmold. Draw the shape. Cut with a heated blade. Smooth the surface. Draw a line for the ends. Color with a permanent marker. Make the ends with hot glue. Smooth the surface. Color it with silver nail polish. For a really shiny finish, add a coat of transparent nail polish. Ensuite, pour ce qui est des résines, we craft a rectangular mold with angles from cardboard and packing tape sealed with hot glue. Make the mix of resin. At this step, you can add the color with a colored ink ballpoint pen. Pour the resin in the mold. Draw some guidelines for the shape. Cut with a heated blade or a serrated knife. Sand with sanding paper sheets from coarse to fine and you can polish for an ultra shiny finish. Draw the shape of the ends, make it with hot glue and color with silver nail polish. If you didn't put the color in your resin mix before, just pour the resin in the mold without color, cut, sand, draw the ends, color the resin with vitrite paint or permanent marker, Make the ends with hot glue and color with silver nail polish. To make the permanent marker more shiny, use a transparent nail polish. Now you know how you can make your own energy gem for just a few dollars and a little of work. A little of work. Travail. Work. Or just a few dollars and a little of work. 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 A little of work. Make your cheapest with the hot glue or make a better one with resin. For the giveaway, always the same easy steps. Subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. Like the video. Share it to all your friends! And finally, fill the online form to enter the giveaway. You can find the link in the, you can find the link in the description. Good luck! Oh and don't hesitate to leave a little comment under my video. It's always a pleasure to read you. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! See you soon for another video! Love you guys! You're wonderful! Bye-bye!